Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I wasn't planning on filming a video today, hence I look not that great, but um, hopefully you can ignore all that. Um, I've just been shopping and I bought some stuff. I went down to the shops to get two gift vouchers and I ended up coming back with like uh, 20,000 bags. So I'll show you what I got because there's a few things in here that are good Christmas gift ideas um, and I want to show you while you still can go and get them at the stores. So I'm just going to get straight into it and start with this one. Um, this is from Colette. I actually bought this for myself for a Christmas present. I'm going to get my husband to wrap it up and put it in under the Christmas tree for me. But it is a, well, I'm going to use it as a makeup bag. So it's like a navy and white stripe, um, plasticky kind of canvas feeling bag. Heaps of room inside. It was $22, but it was marked down to like 16 or something. I really, really like it. I haven't got many um, like toiletry bags at all, so I thought this would be really good and an awesome Christmas present for like a sister or a mum or something as well. So I wanted to show you that. Very excited for that one. And then also from Colette, I got this for Taylor. This is just like a little bag charm. So it's pink and gray and fluffy. I just think she'll like it. I'm going to get her to put it on her school bag next year because she's going to get to have a real school bag next year. Um, so I thought this would just be something cute to add on to it. Um, it was $9, but I must have got it for a lot cheaper because um, everything was on sale. So I'm not sure how much it was in the end, but it's cute. I like it. I would put it on my bag if you know I wasn't getting it for her. Um, next thing, I went back to Big W and I just got these... Uh, what would you call them? Well, I say Christmas tree prick, pick, pricks, picks. Um, so it's got feathers and then like little sprigs of some kind of leaf. I don't know. But I'm going to chuck this on the Christmas tree. I, my Christmas tree is here. So it's, I, if you saw my um, Christmas home tour, you will know that they're from W as well. I think this was actually with them. Um, this was actually in with them in the store. So this obviously goes with these baubles. I didn't think the Christmas tree was full enough, so I'm going to just add these in to give it a little more pizzazz. Um, they were marked at $15, but they had a sale on as well, so they were a little bit cheaper as well. You can get most of the Christmas decor stuff that I've sort of seen around today um, was all on sale, so it's not a bad time to go shopping for it. Bed, bath, and table. Again, these guys had their Christmas decor on sale as well. So the Bond ones were 50% off. Originally, these are $35. Um, but I got them, yeah, 50 for 50% off, so that's really good. There's 12 in here, and they're a really cute pattern. They had all different kinds, and then the actual bits that you get in there were kind of cool. I like them. I usually go for the Kmart um, bonbons, but these, look, so they look a lot nicer, and they were not much more expensive, so went for those this year. And then I also went into the bus table and got this garland this is going to go can you see it? yeah this is going to go on my new tv you know which is over there i'll insert i actually will insert a clip i always say that i'm gonna do i never do i'll insert a clip of this because i can just go put it on this as soon as i finish filming this video it's the christmas it's morgan and finch christmas shiver garland it's 150 centimeters it's marked at 39.95 but again i got that a lot cheaper um and yeah i just really like it i'll do a close-up of it so you can see because there's a few little like, berries and bows and stars and things in there so I'll do a close-up so you can see but I really just like the texture of the pine needles I thought that was really pretty um I really wanted to get that because I really wanted something on the tv unit to look a bit more Christmassy there's something else in my bag oh this as well I looked at this last time I was in bed bath and table oh, 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 oh my spot good um and I didn't get it I thought oh you don't, don't really need it but I couldn't stop thinking about it so I went back and got it it's just a little bowl that says Santa's snacks it was five dollars five ninety five um and that's just going to be for Santa's cookies I know it's silly you could just use a regular plate but I thought it was cheap enough and it's really cute and we can keep it for we can do it for years keep it for years so that is what I got there that was bed bath and table they have a sale on go there and get your stuff now if you can i love it so target i got a few bits and pieces um but christmas wise i got christmas paper wrapping paper so i got this one here this one was a dollar i think yeah this one was a dollar and it has holly on it i actually got two of those because i thought that was going to be my main one i got this one that says ho 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 very cute that one was also a dollar yes and this one was three dollars this one i went all out for this one um but this has got gold and like a pinky color and i thought this sort of went well with the christmas tree so that's what i'm apparently doing this year i'll hopefully get some ribbons or something as well to go with it um target i also got nothing really that these are just all gifts i think yeah, the rest of it's just gifts. So actually, I'll just show you this quickly. I got this for my husband. Um, these for my husband for his stocking. They were quite 
affordable. They're only like $5 each, I think. Maybe even less. Oh, yeah. $4. So this was $4. It is a sports towel, which he works out a lot. So I know this will come in handy. And then I got him a, resist, a resistance band thing. So he does a lot of stretching and he needs something like this. And this one was $6, I think. $6.40. They're on sale as well. So they were just good little stocking stuffers. Um, they're quite in like little small packages, so they can go easily into the stockings. I never know what to put in his stocking because he's not into regular stocking, stocking filler kind of thing. Um, those are just regular toys for the kids that aren't very, aren't particularly remarkable. Um, also from my husband, I got this belt. This was from Next.com, NextDirect.com, something like that. Um, I'll put a link for it down below. But it's a reversible belt. So on one side it's black, black, and the other side it's brown. But basically you just pull this up and switch it. To, depending on which color you want, which I thought was really cool. It was under $20. I think it might have been $18.50. Um, and if you spend over $30 on Next, you get free shipping. So that's really cool. I had to go down and get some more holes punched in the belt because it was too big for him. Um, when I, I didn't want to go smaller because I didn't like it when you don't have much of a tail on the end. Um, but then it was obviously too big for his waist because he has a very narrow little waist. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got that. I thought that was a really good idea for a guy. Um, okay, so this is Big W now. So I got these little magnets for Owen's stocking. You can't really see them, but they're animal and they're wood and they're magnets. They were, I think, under $5. They are just really cute. I thought he would enjoy them on the fridge. We haven't really got a nice set of magnets for the fridge, so I thought he would enjoy that. I just got a little Shopkins magazine for Taylor's stocking. She really loves Shopkins. I think they're all obsessed with Shopkins, but um, so that'll just be for her stocking. Now we do a Christmas Eve box on obviously Christmas Eve. We'll open it and like just with our family. So like myself, Joe and the kids. Um, so usually I put in their, their Christmas pajamas, the kids Christmas pajamas, a book or an activity like a Christmas based book or activity. Um, and then something yummy to eat. Like I, I did hot chocolate last year. So I might do that again actually, cause that was fun, but like marshmallows and then some hot chocolate packages and like things like that. But this year for the book, I got this one, which is Santa's workshop adventure. Um, so there's, this is Kmart by the way, sorry. There's a little story in the side there and then this is um, a little model house. So you build a little Santa's workshop with the elves. So I thought that would be a cute little activity to do on Christmas Eve with the kids. I mean, Owen's not probably gonna understand the whole activity book thing, but he will enjoy just sort of being around Taylor. Got that, very cute. I think it was only like $5 as well. It might've even been less than $5. And then this I was really excited about. So this was like, this looks like a Kmart branded thing. It doesn't say Kmart, but like it's, there was a whole set of them. Um, is a cookbook. This is a dessert cookbook. This was $8. There was so many of them. There was all different, um, all different like categories. Is that the word I'm looking for? Not really. I got the dessert one because it looked the prettiest, honestly. And this is a secret Santa. So I wanted something that was quite universal. Universal. There was like a vegetarian one, an Italian one, seafood, slow cooker, like all different types. Um, and they all are in this really cool design. I really, really liked it. So even if you're not someone that uses cookbooks, I mean, I just go on Pinterest all the time for recipes and things for myself and my family. Um, but I still have like a little shelf in the kitchen that has cookbooks on it. So I thought even if you weren't into actual cookbooks, this would look really nice in the kitchen just on display. And like the recipes, they're really quite cute. Like, like it's a really nice, pre nicely presented book. Um, so this will be for my secret Santa present. Um, we spend $15, this is for my friend's secret Santa. So we, when we have our Christmas party on Christmas Eve, Eve, um, we all do just a random secret Santa, secret Santa present, which is $15. Um, we're not buying for anyone in particular. It's just basically we put them all in a pile. We draw out a number and we pick the, like we pick one by one. Um, so it had to be universal. I didn't have someone in mind for this, but like I said, desserts, everyone's going to have a dessert at some point or have to bake a dessert at one point. So that's why I went for this one and not one of the others. Um, but really good idea for Christmas presents, $8 Kmart. Just they're awesome. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with that. Um, also from Kmart, I just got myself a drink bottle cause I need one. Um, and mine or a break or they've just, I've lost them. I don't really know, but this one's a glass bottle as well. And it comes with the, see it's glass. And then it comes with the cooler. This was $5. So I liked that. That was just a, just for me, no reason. Um, I also got this from Gamer. It's just a little scrubby brush for the kitchen. I'm going to fill it with my favorite method dish, dish soap that you know I love. Um, and just use that in the kitchen. It's pink. Ooh. It's just cute. It was like $2, so like, why not? 
And then the last couple things, this is like nothing, but I got oh and this little onesie romper thing. Um, this is gonna be just pajamas for him for summer now that we're in summer. It was $8.50 and it's black and white with crosses, which I love for the kids. Um, and then I got Taylor some hair ties to go in her stocking because I'd like to buy practical things that I would have bought anyway um, to go in their stockings because, you know, you're going to get them anyway, so you might as well stuck, stick them in their stockings. Um, and then I did go to Valley, oh, I forgot I got that. I went to Valley Girl and just grabbed myself a t-shirt. This is a really basic tee, but it has got spandex in it, so it's nice and like bouncy. I think this one's actually the same. This is a... Yeah, this is probably the same one actually that I'm wearing now. And I really like it. So I got a navy blue one because that's all I wear is t-shirts and jeans or t-shirts and shorts. I got this little top. I actually went, I went looking for something to wear for the Christmas party, my work Christmas party, but I didn't find anything. Um, all the dresses are this off the shoulder thing. And for some reason, for tops, I don't mind it. But when I wear a dress, it doesn't look very good on me. I don't know what it is, but I got this top as well. It's actually quite a nice material. Um, it was only $14, so it can't be that nice, but like a seersucker kind of material. I just liked that. I thought that would be cute with white shorts. Um, just for I've got my best one of my best friends' birthday parties on the weekend. It was quite it's quite casual, so I thought I'd do that. And then I just got this sparkly clutch, which is navy blue. Um, only because when I've gone out, I haven't bought like bags or anything for so long. And when I've been out going out, gone out a few times recently, the um I haven't been able to find a clutch bag that sort of I like so thought I'd get that it was pretty damn cheap so why not that's everything <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this haul thank you for indulging me I just really wanted to show you a few of those things like I said thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time bye